Good Thursday, March 24th. I'm meteorologist Carly Gomez, and we do have an update to the drought monitor for you. Not much, but hey, it's a little bit, and we haven't gotten a lot of moisture in the last week or so. Last week, we saw about 35% of the state in an extreme drought for March. And take a look here at March 24th. Now you're seeing it up by about 2.7% into extreme. So just minor changes here, not a lot, but this also shows that even with a small storm that passed through, we're still seeing the drought development continue week after week week. Now what we expect to see as we move through the weekend, we're still warm in the 80s. 80s expected for your Thursday into Friday and even potentially into Saturday. We'll see the temperature trend though cooling off by a degree or so each day as we start approaching Saturday into Sunday. Those temperatures will also drop off anywhere from 8 to 10 degrees. Now we do have shower chances arriving Sunday night into Monday, most of your Monday, but it is a very warm system. The timing of this one as well as the amounts that it could deliver are changing vastly from model to model, depending on the European model, the GFS model, we're seeing different changes showing the timing of the event also shifting as well as how much rain we could see in central California as well as areas right around Sacramento. Currently, the high pressure system is overhead and what that's helping to do here is at least keep those temperatures up for us. So it's that's why it's been very warm, but it's also been keeping us very dry, avoiding any kind of a system from approaching our way. As that ridge builds up and around most of the Pacific Northwest, this system is starting to target up into Canada. What we're going to expect to see here as well, though, is it's drying up a lot of warmth, a lot of warmth above the Hawaiian Islands. And along this, this is an atmospheric river. It's pulling it up and in. Now, this low pressure system will shift, but what we're also seeing is a trough developing here. This is expected to be uh, cut off low that starts to move up and into areas of central California before really taking a deep dive into southern California as we move from Sunday to Monday. Now let's also take a look overhead as of Thursday, mostly clear skies, but notice the shoreline there. You are seeing those cirrus clouds overhead. And of course, those are just kind of those wispy clouds that make it look maybe a little bit like it's uh, overcast some spots, but also can make things look uh, a little pollution like. Otherwise, we could expect to see a beautiful sunset with these types of clouds. Let's look at the records versus the forecast highs for Thursday. Our forecast for the day ahead is anywhere from those mid to low 80s across Sacramento, Stockton, Modesto, San Joaquin Valley spots. The record's pretty much the same. So some spots may tie the record, some may beat the records. We'll have to wait until the afternoon, evening hours to decipher whether or not that happened or not. Okay, let's take a look here at the atmospheric rivers because this is what's bringing in how much moisture we could see or not see. Now we can see that this blue line here is starting to be pulled up. There are the Hawaiian Islands. You can see at the very bottom of the screen being pulled up here toward Northern California drawing into the system that moves to the Pacific Northwest. But as we take a look ahead, as we move into Sunday, Monday, you can see that that blue line here starts to dip into Southern California, Los Angeles, before starting to hit areas into Baja, California. After that, we have one more line out there and we'll have to wait and see what that does in the next 10 days or so. Now, we also expect to see that warming uh, temperatures there from the Hawaiian Islands. That is going to bring us some uh, warm, uh, really rain, I should say, versus snow in the four forecast for the higher elevations. We will see snow at some of the peaks and the ridges and even the passes, but not a lot. Most of that's going to be rain right around 5,000 feet and below. Now, as the system approaches, we move through the weekend. It's still warm by Sunday. Here it is along the coastline. As you get to about 8.30 p.m., you can start seeing most of that hitting it. But the bullseye of the storm already makes its way along the coastline closer to San Luis Obispo and then begins moving its way further south as we start to expect it moving past Carmel and areas of Monterey and further south. Now we will see a lot of that rain. You can still see it offshore trying to make its way in, but because of the kind of turbulence that's happening, the low pressure rotation that'll still be pulled in, that's still heading its way further south. Some of that rain hitting our foothills as well as Sacramento Valley spots, but again, you're seeing the purple and the pinks there. That is that mix. That's still rain, even if it's a slight bit of a slush. The white part is really that high elevation snow that gathers, and we could expect that to be only a few more inches again. So not a big system for the high elevation snowpack, but we could expect to see some rain moving in. Again, the biggest portion here hitting Los Angeles down to San Diego as you move into Monday morning. This system is going to pass, and as we get into Tuesday, we have one more pump with this one. Take a look at that area. That'll start making its way toward us and our mountaintops there around 10 a.m. on Tuesday. We might get a little bit more rain in the morning hours for the foothills. After that, though, it's pretty much gone and we'll continue seeing cooler temperatures, though. As opposed to the 80s, we should be right around those mid-70s 
rolling through next week. Now, looking at the foothill forecast for the day ahead, the upper 70s as well as some low 80s. Ione at 81, 72 in Pollock Pine, 74 Forest Hill, 66 in Truckee. Now, for the high Sierra over the next few days, those mid 60s, but then we do drop off for a high of the mid 40s on Monday. Overnight lows, though, we are rather warm. Just take a look at that. You do get below freezing point here into Monday as well as Sunday night. But again, this is just above or below freezing point. So we're not seeing a massive dip that will really create some of that heavy snowfall we want to see. It's just not coming. The system's just very warm. Looking at the Bay Area for the day ahead, those mid to low 60s for Oakland and San Francisco, 72 San Jose, 79 and Fairfield, as well as the San Joaquin Valley in those mid to low 80s. We'll also see that for the Sacramento areas in the mid to low 80s. With the 10-day forecast, again, like I mentioned, we drop off a degree or so each day as we get into Saturday and then by Sunday we drop down into those mid to low 70s upper 60s on Monday with some rainfall potential for sprinkles to linger Tuesday morning and we are back into those mid to upper 60s and low 70s next week.